So my name is Andy Lufkin. I'm a project manager with ACO Engineered Systems. I've been with ACO for about 15 years. Uh, on this project, there's John Reuter, myself, and then Oscar Villalobos are all working together as a team since it is such a fast-track project. As you can tell, these cooling towers are, are really run down. They've had a lot of issues. So we're working with uh, UCLA to, to get them replaced. ACO got on site this morning at 3 in the morning to set a perimeter and set up all the security fencing. From then we had a bunch of safety meetings to go over all the different logistics and the different aspects. The reason why this project has been, uh, we chose to use a helicopter is because we're surrounded by parking area. Uh, underground and above ground, there is no real access for cranes, so we had to look for a separate, you know, different system to get the cooling towers onto the roof. And in this particular case, we had to get a real big helicopter because, uh, you know, the equipment is, is quite sizable. So due to the location of the towers, we had to use the Siller crane to be able to come in and help with all this and fly from Northern California down so that, that way we could get all this done in the day that we had to do all this. It's going to go fast and efficient. It's going to be 75 mile an hour downwinds coming down on us. We've done plenty of safety briefings prior to it with a customer, with our own personnel and uh, pretty, pretty much going to be a unique process. The existing equipment that we're replacing is about 30 years old and uh, they're planning on upsizing the central plant so we're talking about uh, 2,100 tons of capacity. Weight of these towers are about 13,000 pounds so we're able to, able to get them off the roof without closing down the street for over a week with a crane which minimizes the customer's downtime. Well, there's a lot of planning that goes along with this type of job, this scale of job. So we want to make sure that all the players are talking with the helicopter crew for this case, that they know where they're going to be standing at at all times. We have one shot at this, so there's a lot of proactive work beforehand that has to happen to make sure that all these guys are on the same page. Communication is key. So one of the key aspects of ACO being able to get a project like this is us being able to self-perform all of the work in-house from the rigging to the pipe fitting to the sheet metal for the louvers, everything coming together and us being able to do all this in-house with just a single point of communication all the way through really helps streamline this project to help provide the owner a low cost installation and allow us to keep all of our local unions employed and busy. And we're gonna take these out, bring in the three new ones, repipe them, commission them, get them going. And then in the future, they're gonna remove the chillers, the three chillers they have downstairs. And uh, basically that's upgrading their entire HVAC system. With all the work that goes along with the planning beforehand, we have to say that this has been a successful rig and lay down. Had no injuries and they're, and they're going home safe the way we want it. We were able to get all the cooling towers up, all the pipe up and everything set and in place safely and accurately so that everyone can go home the day after Christmas to their family and enjoy the rest of the holiday season.